Hey, I got a question for you. I'm on the daily grind. I'm taking care of work. I'm getting paid today. I'm doing things to make it right. Is your money working for you? Or are you working for money? It's the life, it's the life I need. Yes! Uh, it's your boy, the Crypto Lifestyle. The lifestyle where your money works for you instead of you working for that money. Uh, guys, it's been a long time since I started off a video by yelling yes. And you know what? We have all good reasons to be screaming yes. The Bitcoin dominance has gone down. Um, you know, if, if you have altcoins like myself, then, you know, it's a sigh of relief. But this video is not about that, guys. This video is about the update with Sentinel Protocol and why, yes, I'm gonna see it right now. Sentinel Protocol is the next big thing in blockchain tech since smart contracts okay guys listen and i'm going to explain to you guys why this is the biggest thing in crypto since smart contracts so guys let's think about it so three years ago four years ago two years ago whatever when icos were not as mainstream before ethereum was invented do you guys know what the biggest problem was back then the biggest problem back then was trust and exchange of ownership so Vitalik, the creator of Ethereum, made a software that we call today smart contracts that enables trust. It's a trustless system, right? So he fixed that solution. That was the biggest problem they were facing back then. But guys, do you know what the biggest problem today that every crypto investor is facing? You guessed it, it's hacks, scams, and frauds, as they say right here. And that's why I'm investing into this ICO, because I truly believe, just like Ethereum, let's look at CoinMarketCap. So we got Ether here at, at number two, right? Then we got EOS, that's, that, 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 that came out after Ethereum, right? So we had all these competitors trying to make a faster blockchain, a cheaper blockchain, a scalable blockchain. Cardano, another smart contract blockchain uh, network, just like Ethereum, right? Then the list goes down. We got VeChain, another one. Qtum, Icon, it goes on and on. So Ethereum was the first network or smart contract rather let's call it that sorry guys so ethereum was the first smart contract to come out to solve that problem and then we had competitors you know that came out after ethereum the same thing i am expecting for sentinel protocol because the biggest problem that we're facing right now is hacks and uh cyber crime period Okay, so in my opinion, this is revolutionary, guys. This is not like a uh, McAfee antivirus program you download, okay? This is that, like, 10.0, straight up. So let's get right to it. I'm going to show you guys what they said here in this article. This article is very, very, very informative. Very, very, like, it's going to shed some light on what Sent Sentinel Protocol is and why it's revolutionary. It's a game changer in crypto, guys. It truly is. We're going to look at that. Um, but first, let's look at their announcement channel. So we all know by now what happened with my Ether wallet. There was a, um, a phishing website and a lot of people logged onto that website and they entered their private keys and it was compromised. So their digital assets, I'm not too sure if it was seized or what, but it was definitely exploited. But look what Sentinel Protocol, this is the official announcement. Okay, so Sentinel Protocol announcement telegram chat. This is what they said. If a website asks you to proceed, that's already an indication of compromise. The phishing MyEther wallet site uses a self-signed certificate, not issued by a trusted certificate authority. Once the phishing URL is updated to our TRDB, we will continue to track the movement of coins. A single site may flag the initial stolen coins, but not all the derived sub-addresses. The exchanges that have TRDB um, integrated would check the stolen coins and their continuous flow from the hacking incident. So guys, as I said, I, I don't really want to dive into what Sentinel Protocol in great detail, what it's about, because I have already done a review on them. But pretty much the DRTB is like, think of it like, um, if you interrogate, uh, sorry, if you integrate this um, technology within your, say, where you keep your coins. So in any wallet, say blockchain info, maybe Binance even, they would be able to track the hackers. So the problem we have today is hackers are easily, um, we are easy targets for hackers. They could track us, but we can't track them. This changes that, this changes that. And the way it works is, think of it as like nodes, 
right? So my computer is a node and I have the up tokens. Um, these up tokens will give me access to TRDB. Okay, it stands for trusted. It's kind of like a delegated. It's like a trusted node that's going to act as a uh, cybersecurity authority. Guys, 20, we're going to pretty much have 24 hours, 7 days a week of cyber surveillance on our wallets. That's an extra layer of security. Do you guys know how massive that is? And it's a self-learning machine. I don't want to say AI, but it's something along the lines of that. So let's look at this Medium article, guys. This would definitely shed some light on why this is the next big thing in crypto since the invention of a smart contract. So general questions, what is Upsella Foundation's ultimate goal? Guys, look, please, like, I don't like to make long videos, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to really try to cut down this video as, you know, as much as I can. But there's some vital information in here. You really need to grasp how big this is going to be, okay? So just please have some patience and bear with me. So what is Upsella Foundation's ultimate goal? Over time, Upsella Foundation would e will evolve into a truly decentralized organization. In the beginning, Upsella Foundation is needed to initiate the platform and review the applications for the role of the Sentinels. Through a vigorous vetting process, we will select the best applicants to fulfill that role. However, when the platform becomes self-sustainable and self-governed, the Sentinels will be chosen by the community itself. Upsella Foundation, UPP is a ticker, tokens will be um, circulated yeah, circulated to pay for advanced security features like S Walt and D sandboxing. Upsella Foundation members will shift focus towards providing the community with new and innovative products beyond S Walt and D sandboxing. So, guys, this is the ultimate system for uh, this is the ultimate decentralized system, right? So, as they say over here, however, when the platform became becomes self sustainable and self governed, the Sentinels will be chosen by the community itself. Okay, so I believe like this is very similar to how BitShares, um, Dan Larmer, how he invented BitShares and the system over there, delegated proof of stakes, uh, trusted nodes, so on and so forth, witnesses. Um, it It's pretty cool stuff, guys. So that is awesome. But let's dive a little bit more into what um, it's really about. So how is the game theory applied in Sentinel Protocol? Listen to this, guys. This is a massive. While black hat, hat hackers, meaning just hackers, steal financial assets, white hat hackers, so say someone like who's against hacking, who wants to kind of like, you know, um, hunt them down kind of thing, right? They're referring to them as white hat hackers. They typically do not get any financial rewards for improving security. White hat hackers only receive dignity or social reputation. So guys would be like, oh man, thank you for that. You did great work. Oh yeah, this and that, right? You get respect in that regard. But they said, if any, meaning you're lucky to even get that. Until now, Sentinel Protocol is an ecosystem where white hackers earn both financial rewards and positive reputation for protecting sensitive data from malicious hackers. As financial benefits of protecting data increase, the incentive to behave sorry the incentive to behave maliciously will disappear so guys think of this now the reason why hacking is so widespread is because they could easily get away with it so once they hack say um okay so like ian Bellina, he got two million dollars worth of crypto hacked we would be able to track them once we have the d what is it the trusted nodes let's just call it that i forget the acronym is drtb or whatever once we have that integrated into our wallets we would be able to trace where those coins are going and listen to the next point here um so is sentinel protocol an open source project okay we'll skip that one who are sentinel protocols competitors okay guys it's great to see new products sorry new products it's great to see new projects tackling tackling blockchain cybersecurity, and to witness this vital field expanding just a year ago we did not see anything like this it is hard to tell that Sorry, it's hard to tell what competitive advantages a project has over another because almost all projects are still in the early stages with no working products or security features available on the market. However, in terms of value proposition and grand vision, we are unaware of any companies doing exactly what we are doing. Note how we positioned ourselves as a protocol. One of our key goals is to become the standard protocol 
for the blockchain security industry. Guys, let me tell you, these guys are going to be that. Just like how Ethereum is the standard, it's not a protocol, but the standard blockchain network um, for ICOs or for exchange of ownerships, right? For smart contracts. I truly believe Sentinel Protocol is going to be exactly that, the Ethereum of security. And why? Why should we care? Security is the biggest problem in crypto. Come on, guys. Okay, Q. Can, this is very important to understand as well. Can stolen cryptocurrencies be returned to their original users with Sentinel Protocol? Possibly. With the Sentinel Protocol, um, integrated into cryptocurrency exchanges, wallets, and payment services, stolen cryptocurrencies could be returned to their original users without taking legal action. We also provide consul consulting services to help exchanges implement suitable security policies. Although... Although each exchange may have different policies regarding returning stolen assets to their rightful owners, any stolen assets would be frozen and withheld. So even if these guys take it, and we know where it's at, you know, these hackers, they can't do much with it. They can't do anything with it, right? But check out the next, um, the next, um, hold on, right here. So... How do you collect TRDB data until the Sentinel portal is released commercially and the community starts reporting hacking incidents? The Sentinels will be collecting data from the TRDB. They will review blockchain hacking incidents from cryptocurrency history and add those cases including those that may not have been analyzed in depth. The Sentinels will not only compile all the identified or unidentified information, but they will also add root cause and attack vector analysis we will also be partnering partnering with database companies so i know they already partnered with uh blue Zelly, and there was another one oh yeah the uh decentralized exchange kyber network so they actually there's a piece here and look guys i do not want to go through this entire article here i make a video on that i'm sure you guys know how to read okay i'm just want i just want to bring this to your attention this will definitely put into your head how powerful and how big this is going to be on a from an investing standpoint and from a cyber security standpoint now why would you not want to be part of any of those two right okay guys so i would leave the link to this medium article about sentinel protocol in the description box i highly recommend you guys come here and on your own time go through this article it is very informative it gave me boost bumps it gave me excitement it gave me knowledge it gave me education and it gave me the confidence in this project these guys are always on the road promoting they're all over the place um uh yeah so the team is putting in the work guys okay straight up uh, what else could I say? So if you wanted to get into this, the whitelisting is over. Um, but for the public sale, you would not need to be whitelisted, guys. So if you want to get into the public sale, that is still available. The pre-sale, if you're not whitelisted, then you're kind of out of luck. Um, I also would leave the link to my ICO pool telegram chat at the bottom as well, guys. So check that out. Hey, man, I hope I really shed some light here for you guys. I am all for this project and why would you not, why would you guys wouldn't want to support something that's against hacking, against frauds, against scams and something that's for protecting your digital assets. It makes all the sense in the world to me and if it makes sense, it makes money. Alright guys, that's all I have for you. Watch out for my next video. I'm going to do a very quick update on my thoughts on Cork Chain, and uh, I know a lot of you have been bringing this to my attention. So um, keep a lookout for that. So until the next video... You're on your own. Later.